I don't say, continue. Not my car either. <laughs> Shooting. Hi. I've been, um, doing a Can you all hear? Uh, I've been doing a lot of. Um, what? Oh, Be bold. <laughs> I've been having a lot of negative fantasies in my life. All right. I've discovered that I enjoy these fantasies. That's and a part of me is thinking, well, this is really a waste of time, and you had better stop this immediately. And All right. And the other part is going, well, you better go ahead and enjoy them so that you can stop. And <laughs> I'm really confused with this idea because I don't want to have this negative future, but I've discovered that a part of me does enjoy these fantasies. All right. The idea does not mean that what you are aware of within yourself has to manifest, and in particular, if you allow yourself to peruse them as they come naturally, you will then get out of them what you wish to apply positively, while at the same time, you will still be aware of the polarity of positive and negative that can occur within you, but it will stay within you and will not, in that sense, need to manifest if you will allow it to be there when it needs to be there and get out of it what you wish. You can still learn from it and apply it in a positive way. You understand? Just because you are aware of it doesn't mean you have to manifest it. In fact, paradoxically, the more integrated you become, the more aware you also become of all the negativity you could manifest. That's a part of what integration is all about. More awareness of more of yourself, all of yourself. And that has to include the positive and the negative side. But just because you are more aware of it doesn't mean that it must manifest. In fact, just the opposite. The more aware of it you are, the more you know what you actually prefer to manifest and what you do not prefer can remain in what you call a fantasy state. Understand? Yes, no, ma'am? Yes, uh, but... <laughs> yes, but what? Yes, but, but... Um, I'm wondering, if you're still enjoying it, then aren't you going to start creating it? In what sense are you enjoying it? What are you enjoying out of it? Are you enjoying simply certain experiences and expressions that you can create in what you call the non-physical sense that you can then apply to the physical world? For if you are enjoying it that way, again, if you get your enjoyment in the non-physical sense, it may not have to manifest in the physical. It still takes an overwhelming desire in that sense to really bring something into manifestation or an overwhelming fear. If it is simply in your terms an enjoyment that is on the level of what you call an amusement, an extrapolation in that way, you may simply not be giving it enough energy to manifest fully as a physical reality. You understand? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it, what, it, what it is that you said. Can you describe what it is you enjoy about it? Let me put it this way. Would you continue to enjoy it if it manifested physiologically? No. Do you desire to continue to enjoy it? in the way that it comes to you now? No, I don't. Why not? And in what way do you enjoy it? It's, it's an idea of um, being uh, helpless and sort of having your life go slowly downhill. All right. And I don't know exactly what it is that's enjoyable about it, but maybe just... So Can you like perhaps the feeling of letting go and just going right, downhill? All right. Can you perhaps allow yourself, let us say, to say that you are exploring different, quote unquote, luxuries, different opportunities, different experiences you have had. Perhaps you are, in that sense, reviewing. Some of the enjoyment you may be having is simply that as you are reviewing things that you have lived out in many different lives, what you are enjoying is maybe that they're in the past. <laughs> You can be enjoying that. You can be enjoying it from the perspective of the oversoul, in the sense that all experiences are valid. And simply as you review all these different things you have already done, your enjoyment comes from the fact that you are now 
creating the satisfaction that you can integrate all these different experiences and have a positive result in terms of the manifestation which occurs in your physical life now. Can you understand you might be enjoying it for that reason? Simply now that you are looking at it from the perspective of what you might call hindsight. Knowing that you don't have to go through it again and so you can relax and at your leisure review these things and even gain the sense of learning that you learn from them and that may be what you are enjoying, the experience itself. Understand? I don't think any of those are it. All right. I, it kind of confuses me because I think the thing that I'm enjoying is like the feeling of letting go. And yes. Just, which I could see as being both a positive and a negative thing. Yes. And I'm confused because I don't know if it's positive or negative. Well, it can be whatever you choose it to be. If you know it can be both, which do you prefer to recognize it as? I prefer it as positive, but I don't want to create that fantasy. But you have just contradicted yourself. If you understand that the sensation that you are experiencing in the fantasy can be viewed as a neutral idea and manifested either as a positive or a negative, and if you prefer the positive, then no matter whether it comes to you in your imagination as a negative to at least put you in touch with the feeling, if you simply prefer that it will manifest in physical reality as a positive, then that's the only way it will manifest. Understand? Yeah, I think so. The idea, in other words, let's put it this way. You are creating a version of the idea, having your cake and eating it too. You are now able to create both sides and learn from both and in a sense enjoy both the positive and the negative, but you simply, quote unquote, wisely, choose to keep the negative manifestation in the non-physical side of your reality and the positive manifestation on the physical side. So you can enjoy them both because you allow them to manifest where to you they are safe. Understand? Yes. So enjoying them where they are does not mean that they will manifest. In that sense, it means that they won't because you have found the place in which you can enjoy them safely. Yes, thank you. Understand? Yes. Does that help you? Yes, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Shedding. Hi, Bashar. It's Million. Hi. <laughs> well, <laughs> things have really come to your head here. Yes. <laughs> Who's? I'm mine. All right. <laughs> All of us. Um, I'm finally getting that wonderful experience of manifesting what I want. Oh, finally? Yes. Oh, finally. all right. After all these months of torture. Oh, all right. <laughs> and, uh, yes, and it feels exhilarating. It feels different. I can understand yes. why it wasn't that comfortable because it was so unique that I didn't know what it felt like. And it, I kind of have to adjust right. myself when I get it yes. to allow myself to love it and appreciate it and feel what it feels like. Thank you. And so part of one of these things that are coming to a head seems to be is a culmination of the, um, the first visit that I had by the space people in 1973, the three beings that were the first thing that I ever asked you about the first time I ever saw you. Ice. And you told me they were Pleiadians and friends of Pleiadians. Ice. And that I would find out in time. Ice. Well, this last week I have been obsessed with Zeta Reticuli. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I woke up with this whole marketing plan and I've been drawing them and designing them and I mean, I'm just, my life has become Zeta Reticuli. And All so right. I thought, well, that's exciting. And yes. somewhere around the same time when I had the visit by the three beings, I also had one of those straight scars on the abdomen that I had no idea where it came from and then I conveniently forgot about it for 15 years until I read Whiteley Stryber's book. And then channeling class Tuesday night, a whole different energy came to me that was so strong and so deep that it almost frightened me. And I've never right. experienced fear in channeling before, but it was just right at the edge. <gasps> yes. And there was dialogue going on just inside my head, not speaking or vocalizing. This was not vocal at all. Understand. And I asked, I said, is this, are you Zeta? And they said, uh, something like Zeta. Yes, something like it. Your version of it. Oh, oh, hmm. Your recognition, your recreation of the agreements and the connections. Something like it. Oh. 
I have one <laughs> phrase which we can share. Okay. And not much more at this time. Okay. The eyes 